the Autodesk sustainability team has found the majority of current and future design and manufacturing demands fit within three key trends. Material, productivity, and circularity encompassed by the three R's. Reduce, think of lightweighting products. Reuse, designed to be disassembled uh, with the circular economy. Recycle, preventing waste from being sent to a landfill. The second, energy productivity and smart manufacturing. Consider deploying IoT and smart technologies which will enable manufacturers to understand and improve performance, predict and schedule maintenance, reduce breakdowns, and reduce overall machine downtime. Lastly, responsible supply chain management. With 80% of global trade flowing through multinational corporations, one in five jobs is tied to global supply chains, and over 80% of greenhouse gas emissions in most consumer good industries stemming from their supply chains. Supply chains play an outsized role in many of the most pressing social and environmental challenges. We find that sustainability practices intersect with other popular frameworks used in the manufacturing environment. First, lean manufacturing, which is a systematic method for waste minimization without sacrificing productivity. My favorite tool is value stream mapping and looking at throughout the start to finish what specific steps are actually adding value. Smart manufacturing, a broad category of manufacturing with the goal of optimizing concept generation, production, and product transaction. Similarly, looking at sustainability. Sustainability techniques use LCA or life cycle assessment, which is a scientific process used to assess the environmental impacts of products and materials across their entire life. All of these are quite similar in goals and practice, and when coupled, they can minimize negative environmental impacts of a product significantly. Let's now look at circularity. This is a growing trend that, we're see that was started in EMEA, and we're seeing it spread throughout the world. So think about living systems. They've been around for billions of years. There's no landfill. One waste is another's food. Organisms grow, die, and then the nutrients return. It works. It's been around for billions of years. Now think about our traditional manufacturing process. It's linear. We take natural resources, we make, we, we make, and then we waste at the very end. So this is not, this, we need to dispose of disposability. What's driving these commitments? A recent study around regulations, we found that year over year, they are increasing. With the largest, regula uh, the most regulations in Europe, followed by Asia Pacific, and then the US. So with these growing regulations are growing costs to our customers. So it's really helpful for them to be able to get out in front of these before it's an expensive surprise.